Tell us something you have good. Any, good. Do you have anything breaking? <laughs> <laughs> well, the 30 year interest uh, rates start to go up at 2.98, which is not bad. Two point they were above 3%. Oh, that's earlier. right. So they came down again. So okay. Down I didn't know that. Yeah. I was going to say, I got quoted 2.85 on a 30 year. Uh, when? Yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so they do float around a little bit. Listen. Shane, they, you're not going to qualify for that loan, Jonathan. <laughs> I'll try my best. As long as rates stay below 5%, uh, you're going to continue to see home prices That's go right. up. And just anecdotal, I had um, the, the folks that run the gym that I go to are, are moving out of town. They have that house that fits the big hedge funds box. Mm -hmm. And they had their home uh, on the market for a whopping week and a half. So 325, I think is what you said the price range was. So, yeah. Somewhere yeah. in that range. Yeah. And uh, a hedge fund came in and outbid everyone. In cash. Obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, so. For how much? Well, I don't know. Oh. That but they said close. it was above the asking price. So. And, and, and they're running like 20% above retail. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what sure. I'm saying. So the wholesalers are beating out the retailers. Mm -hmm. And on top when of that. When in the world would that happen, right? I don't know. <laughs> on top of that, you don't have to worry about anybody qualifying for a loan because it's all going to be cash. Yeah. And I would do the same thing. I'd sell as well to a hedge fund. Now, I, 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 wife, gave, I gave that advice to the I got at the subgroup meeting last night. Yeah. I mean, I hate giving that advice because yeah. it's like, you know, perpetuating, in my opinion, I guess, a piece of the problem. But, yeah. But it's like, <laughs> well, here, that's what's best for you, then that's what's that's best right. for you. That's right. Here's the thing. There is a box. There's a buying box for these folks. Mm -hmm. I'm say there's a box. I thought you were going to go and, like Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> I, I packed that shirt, by the way. Did you? Good yeah. for you. Yeah. A cat in the box. Yeah. Right? DR Schrodinger. It's maybe we can make a real estate pun or something with it. It's like you know, the house is the box, and you know, it's it's both worth you know a million dollars and two hundred thousand at the same time, depending be, on the hedge right. fund that comes in. It can be in two states at the same time, not actual states of a country, but States of opinion. Yeah. Uh, or matter. Yeah. States don't matter. So what, what was I talking about? All right. So my wife pointed out to me, she goes, you know, this is not really fair that first time home buyers are, are getting pushed out of the market because they For can't sure. compete. Yeah. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Okay. What we need to do and what your uh, real estate agents and brokers should be doing is figuring out what the buy box is for the hedge funds. And then the people, that are trying to buy homes with loans, uh, you know, VA loans take you forever to get stuff yeah, done. That's true. FHA, the same mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. and it's not their fault. That's just the way the programs work. Uh, right. They need to be finding homes that do not fit that box. And now they're not competing with them. Yeah. But, th the but then, but is, then you, how do you you're, do that? you're being pushed. You're being basically forced out. You're saying, if you want to live in and around the city, you have to pay rent. If you want to own a home, you have to go further out yeah. because those homes are not in the buy That's box. what's happening. So it's still not fair. That's it, right. Life is not fair. I, I, I get what you're saying, but <laughs> if you want to own Everybody a home. Everybody in third grade gets a ribbon. If, <laughs> if, you want, if you want to have an edge on getting a house, then this is where you need to be buying. And, yeah. Or this is the age of the home you need to be buying. But, this but is the area you need to be buying in. But to quote you, Bill, you said, if you don't like options do nothing when we're talking about the IRA stuff. Yeah. So always use your words. So against he, you. in the same thing, <laughs> options are being taken away from you and you're saying, okay, it's just part of the game. No, it, here, it's, I don't, here's I don't the like difference. that. It is part of the game. And here's the difference. But we don't like it. Market forces are causing this. Not the, It's not a government mandate that says you can't do this. You can still compete with those folks it's if you want Actually, to. it's market forces coupled with government mandates that created this. I wonder if so we'll add that to the bill they're it's, trying It's to people play. who... Are we still in breaking news? <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, <laughs> we, we have all point. these uh, Good point. mom and pop owners who own properties in and around the city mm -hmm. right. who are not receiving rents who with the moratorium and they are forced to sell and they sold to the highest bidder, which is the hedge fund. Mm -hmm. And then basically blocking out any other first time home buyers to come in and buy these two bedroom, one bath houses that normally would have went 
to sell and picked up by a first time homeowner. Yeah, yeah. But they weren't because now the hedge funds have come in. So it's two forces coming together in synchronicity Actually, that feels I'm not arguing planned. That. Yeah, that, that is kind of, oh, we've yeah. got some con thick conspiracy theory going yeah. on. Right I don't here. know. I just, while we're on that subject, just rant for a bit. <laughs> um, they had a non binding vote in Berlin. It was uh, whatever they do out there in California when they don't like like something, they, they do some sort of referendum. Oh, there we go, dog in California. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, poor California can't so, win on our show. Th this was the German version of Prop 42 or whatever number you want to put in there. 42. Um, so they had a non-binding re uh, referendum that the people voted on that are going to take apartment buildings inside of the city of Berlin that are owned by large real estate companies, and they're going to make them give them to the city so they can take care of their affordable housing problem. How messed so up So they're going to take it from them. <clears throat> and then rent them out at a Eminent domain. Prices. Now, again, it's non-binding, so it doesn't happen. But um, that's what they're thinking there now. Because inside the city, that's where all the expensive apartments are. Rent's gone up 13% in the last year. Mm -hmm. And so, um, anyway, that's what's on people's minds. Yeah, so what do you think? You've made <laughs> enough money on that house. You need to give it to me now. Exactly. Right. Scott says, we're just trying to think of UFOs. UFOs, I love that. I think that they're actually called UAPs now, uh, not UFOs. So it's a unidentified it aerial phenomenon. <laughs> not to be confused with the unidentified submersible uh, vehicle. <laughs> 